I guess my agent told us. And again, it was very exciting because they were not hiring women to do variety shows in those days. And we had already been turned down because they didn't want a woman in the writer's room. They thought that uh, a woman would inhibit the writing. Like, I can't curse or I can't, like, you know, stand on the table and do, do what they do. And, um, or at least I, as if I couldn't make them feel comfortable. And I, we got turned down a couple of times and I didn't, I, did, I thought it was for, I didn't fight it. I thought, oh, okay, you know, yeah, that's a good reason. <laughs> And then here was Carol willing to, to give us the job. So it was a really big surprise. We heard from the agent, and it was amazing. Now, the agent happened to be um, David Geffen. And it, I, we had Owen Lester also, who was at the William Morris office. But every time I see David Geffen over these last, what, 47 years, he's, he's, he has said to me, I got you your first job. <laughs> it's, it's ne and I say thank you. <laughs> it's, it's never ending. What were some of those shows that turned you down? I think it was Smothers, and we ended up producing a Smothers show, so, um, and I don't remember what else, but, you know, a woman, there were 10 variety shows on then, and I think I was the only woman on a staff, and each, and each show had about 10 writers. Our show had 10 writers, and I, so I was one of 10. It was, it, you know, I liked it at the time. I wasn't being very, you know, supportive of other women. But I liked it, and I liked the attention that I was getting. Did you have to do press and stuff because you were the only woman? Was there a big story around it? Yes, there was. There was, and there was an article in the L.A. Times that was like... Um, you know, probably the headline was like one out of a hundred because that's really, really what it was. And I got a lot of attention. A what do you think attention. Carol saw in you to give you that chance? Well, I think it was the album. I think that, that they, la they laughed out loud. I think that's what it takes <laughs> to be a comedy writer. You've got to hand something in or show somebody something that makes them laugh out loud. And every, you know, when I speak to um, people who want to be comedy writers, I give them that advice. And so it was, that's, that's really why. It was, you know, you either, you either may, it's, it's all so subjective at first, but then, you know, when you get an audience, that's when it's really glorious.